Hey guys, uh, welcome to your general love reading uh, for the zodiac sign of Scorpio. Uh, so I've done these readings before and they were general. So I'm gonna do something a little different where I focus on new love here. Um, so Scorpio, the, uh, this is for you guys that are dealing with someone that you just started dating or you just started a new relationship with. So we are going to take a look at what their current feelings are towards you, what they're currently thinking also. And then we'll finish off the read to see what their, um, what their intentions are with you moving forward. Um, so before we get started, uh, I wanted to let you guys know that I am doing another giveaway since I'm getting close to hitting 20,000 subscribers. Um, the way that you enter this giveaway is by hitting the subscription button, the notification bell, uh, leaving a comment in the comments section below with the hashtag 20k, and giving this video a thumbs up. Um, once I uh, reach 20,000, I will uh, go through all my comments, select two winners, and make the announcement on the community tab. So make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and make sure that the notifications are turned on so that you get notified when uh, I announce winners. And for the winners, uh, those are, uh, you guys either could um, leave, your com uh, leave your email addresses in a comment section below of the post. If you're uncomfortable with doing that, feel free to email me because I will leave my email address in the post. Uh, those of you that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link is in the description box below. All right, let's see what's going on here for Scorpio. Um, tell me about the uh, new love of Scorpio. What are they currently thinking and feeling about Scorpio for June 2021? jumper hold on one sec all right we have the page of swords here so um libra aquarius gemini energy you also could be dealing with someone that's younger than you scorpio doesn't have to be it could just be that they're emotionally immature we have the sun leo energy we have the six of cups okay we have the king of cups so there you are scorpio we have the Four of Wands, and we have the Knight of Wands. We have the Nine of Wands on the bottom of the deck. We have the Two of Cups, and then the Ten of Cups here. And then the Star, and the Ace of Wands. So someone here is yearning for a new beginning. I'm feeling like there's this energy of going back towards an X here. Mm, rushing back towards an X, because we have the Six of Cups here. So, you know, Scorpio, either, it could go both ways. Either there's this energy of going back towards an X, or that this is just a, like, like a past life soulmate or something like that. Or it could be a childhood friend that, you know, eventually turned into a love interest. Um, so just apply it to your own unique situation. This is, this is a general reading. Um, so Scorpio, either this could be you or the person that you're dealing with. So free free to switch the roles if you like, uh, and place yourself where you see fit because the roles could be flipped or reverse. Uh, but there is this energy of, I feel like there's this energy of missing someone and wanting to go back to the past and rushing towards um, that individual. Um, this might be a strong twin flame soul tie. Uh, you do have the four wands here, which is the 1111 card twin flame energy. Uh, let's get some more messages just to see what's going on. Tell me about the page of swords. What's going on with this page of swords here? Oh, what is going on with this page of swords? Oops. Right, 
tell me about this page of swords. Okay, we have the seven of swords. So someone's trying to sneak their way back into your life, Scorpio. This is definitely a past energy. Um, tell me about this uh, sun card. You might already be communicating with this person. Doesn't if it hasn't happened yet, it's you, it might happen. Four of Pentacles. This person's missing you. This person is seeing you as their happiness. They're hopeful that they're able to reconnect with you again. Tell me about the Six of Cups and the Five of Cups. I feel like they're coming back to apologize to you because they regret something that they did. I feel like you are dealing with someone that doesn't really tell the truth. Might be a bit, bit sneaky. Uh, I mean, you're dealing with someone who's younger. So I'm feeling like this Page of Swords, this King of Cups, this Knight of Wands is the same person. Tell me about the King of Cups. The Five, no, no. The Hierophant here. Tell me about the Four of Wands. The Three of Swords. Someone wants to come back and basically heal a broken connection. It, it, it seems like it, it, it got to a point where it maybe got tiring, overwhelming, um, because I, I'm getting an energy of like a, there was just a huge like imbalance in like the emotional maturity I feel. Uh, tell me about the Knight of Wands and the Two of Swords. Um, you know, this is a very shifty energy, yeah? So uh, I, I feel like this person doesn't even know what they want. I feel like one moment they could come rushing in, and then the, the, the next moment they're like flying out the door. Um, so we have the Ace of Pentacles here. There's this energy of wanting a new solid beginning here. Um, I mean, this person could be spying on you, watching you on social media. It seems like they're trying to sneak back in by maybe sending you nice messages. Um, but I feel like this person might have done something here to you in the past. I mean, you do have the Seven of Swords here. You do have the Three of Swords, lies, deception, sneaking around. Um, the uh, Sun being clarified by the Four of Pentacles. We have the Six of Cups being clarified by the Four of Cups. No, that's not the Four of Cups. The Five of Cups. Uh, King of Cups being clarified by the Hierophant. Um, Could have had a commitment here with this person, I feel, for sure. I mean, we have the Five of Pentacles. No, nope, the Hierophant, the Four of Wands, and the Ten of Cups, the Two of Cups. Seems like a strong soul tie. Um, we, are in we are in Mercury retrograde. Um, you know, uh, during these times, you know, people from your past do tend to come back, especially if it's like unfinished business, if it's unresolved. It's an opportunity to resolve it. Uh, if um, if you're open for that uh, but this person also has to be working in tandem with you to actually work through these issues so four of wands being clarified by the three of swords the knight of wands being clarified by the two of swords right, let's see all right tell me more about scorpio's new love more like old love but like I said earlier, apply to your own unique situation. Uh, this could be a new love, which uh, that is a past life soulmate, or that, you know, um, this friendship with someone here that you grew up with, it eventually turned into, a, you know, a, a relationship. So it could go um, like three of those storylines. So tell me more about um, the new love for Scorpio, what are their intentions with Scorpio moving forward here? What are, what are their attention? What are Mercury retrograde? Hold on. 
Um, tell me about the new love of Scorpio. What are their intentions with Scorpio moving forward for June 2021 and beyond? Scorpio, we have the two of pentacles on the bottom of the deck here. I'm telling you, this person doesn't want this person doesn't know what they want. I mean, we're getting the two of pentacles here. We have the two of swords here. Um, we have the knight of cups. So more water energy. Cancer Pisces Scorpio, the five of swords. I mean, this person. I feel like you've gone through like a huge emotional roller coaster with this person because I feel like this person tells you that, yes, like I want to be committed with you, like you're the one. And then the next moment, they are out the door, like flying out the door, and you don't hear from them from some time, and then they'll come back around. Um, you have the hangman, Piscean energy. We have, yeah, look at that. This person ghosts. This person ghosts you. Uh, this person ghosts you a lot, Scorpio. This person put. This person makes you wait a lot. I, I feel like this has happened more than one time. Yeah. Uh, I, I I feel like you know it could have been that energy where you guys were probably working towards a ton of cops. Uh, 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 a commitment with the higher fin, the four wands, but it never really got there. You have the Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarius Pisces Energy, and the King of Wands. Hmm. So this person might have some fire, water, and air in their chart. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. This person is not coming back changed or anything like that. This person is still behaving like a little child. Um, I, I really feel like this person doesn't really communicate well. Make their intentions known. Like, why are you coming back? What is the plan here? Like, what, what are we doing? I feel like this person just comes back for the sake of coming back, not like, okay, uh, Scorpio, I want a chance here. This is what I'm gonna do here to make things uh, right now. It's gonna be different from the last time. Whatever has happened in the past will never happen again, that sort of thing. But I, I feel like you've gone through a cycle with this person. Yeah, um, multiple cycles. Uh, of doing this over and over and over again. Stop, start, stop, start. Tell me about this Knight of Cups. I mean, we have two Knights here. When I see a lot of Knights, that's telling me this person doesn't really know what they want. They're really flighty, in and out. Uh, one foot in, one foot out. Uh, tell me about this Knight of Cups. Six of Swords. Tell me about the Five of Swords. The Queen of Cups. So we have a counterpart here, the Queen to the King of Cups. So um, Scorpio, feel free to place yourself where you see fit and apply it to your own unique situation. Um, the roles could be flipped or reversed. We do have a King and we do have a Queen here. This is a very, very, very strong soul tie. Could be a Twin Flame, could be a Karmic too. I mean, the Wheel of Fortune speaks of Karma too. Tell me about the hangman. Five of swords and the seven of swords. This person makes you wait by playing mind games with you, messing with your emotions, lying to you, telling little white lies, making promises that they can't keep.
I, I, I'm feeling like this person might be a narcissist. Doesn't have to be. Maybe they just have those qualities and those tendencies. We do have them. Um, there's a spectrum on that, how severe and extreme it is. I mean, it could just be, you know, sort of like, yeah, um, we'll see. Look, we have three more cards to clarify. We'll see. Tell me about this uh, Five of Pentacles. All right, you have the Queen of Wands. Very interesting. So we have another pair here. We have the King to the Queen of Cups. Uh, Queen's the King of Wands. This is a very, very strong, emotional, and passionate connection. But we just have someone here that is... I mean... That just plays a lot of games. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. The Ace of Cups here. Um... I mean, this person really cares about you, but at the same time, I just, I feel like this person doesn't really have, have a compass. It's like they don't really know what the end game is here. I just feel like they don't know what they want. Is it, it's like, what is it that they want that's going to make them feel comfortable, you know? Um, you know, what is it that they want that's going to make them feel safe? Uh, what is it that they want that, uh, you know, you know, just, I feel like this person just doesn't know what they want. Tell me about the King of Wands. You have the Seven of Pentacles here. Um, there's a lot of like, you know, I, I'm feeling like this person's very internally conflicted because it could be pain from past relationships. It could be pain from this relationship accruing all this pain. I feel like this person wants to have a new beginning here with you, but I feel like this person has no idea how to do the work to actually make things right. I don't know if this person's lazy. I don't know if this person doesn't want to do it or they they can't. Uh, I mean, I, I don't even see like a third party thing going on here. Yeah, I, I'm not seeing any threes. Maybe, I mean, we do, have, we do have the three of swords here two times, but I I don't see another energy here. I mean, I'm, I'm only seeing two energies, um, so. I mean, the third party could be, you know, this person's behavior that's actually hindering the growth and evolution of this uh, relationship. I just feel like this person just doesn't know what the end game is. And I feel like Scorpio, I mean, I don't know. I just feel like you might be wasting your time on this person. There's this energy of like not really knowing not knowing what this person wants, not making their intentions known. That's a, not a really safe place to be with someone. And, you know, Scorpio, you guys, you know, take a long time to open up to allow people in. And once you allow people in, you sort of like go full throttle, sort of like all or nothing, you know? So, yeah, I mean, Scorpio is a very ride or die energy. Yeah, and I, I feel like from your end, I feel like you believe this person is your ride or die, but this person's not ride or dying, no, um, not riding with you the same way that you, you're expecting this person to ride with you. Um, uh, Knight of Cups, the uh, Six of Swords, the Five of Swords being clarified by the uh, Queen of Cups. We have the Hangman being clarified by the Seven of Swords and the Five of Swords. The Five of Pentacles being clarified by the Queen of Wands. Um, Ace of Cups being clarified by clarifying the Wheel. And the King of Wands being clarified by the Seven of Pentacles. All right, Scorpio, this is your general love reading uh, in regards to your new love. Uh, what are they currently feeling and thinking about me for June 2021? If this uh, resonated, please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks.